Welcome to Channel 42, where we talk about life, the universe, and a little bit of everything. This is a Factorio noob video, although this is uh, some of the stuff that people who have been playing for hundreds of hours may not know about. Little tips and tricks. I'm going to call it advanced aspects of basic objects. So let's get into it. We're going to start with the inserter. Inserter. Now, um, not until you get a ways into the game will you have to worry about stack size. Now, stack, that's a, just a stack of objects. This thing can pick up objects. When it starts, it picks up one object. I've got some upgrades through research that allows even the basic one to pick up three. I can tell it, no, I don't want you to pick up three. I want you to pick up two only. That'll limit whatever, say, the factory is uh, receiving, or maybe even I just want to limit it to one. Um, there's a lot more stuff when these objects get connected to uh, circuits. You can see these red circuits. We'll get into that a lot later. But basics, override stack size. Um, you'll see that. You might wonder what it is. The stack inserter, of course, its job is to pick up giant stacks. It's a much late, later game object all the way over here. Um, oh, we need to cover that one too. Um, all the way over there, and what it does, of course, it picks up big stacks. I think it starts at like 6 and goes up from there. I've got it all the way up to 12. Again, you can tell it, nah, I really don't want you to pick up 12, only pick up 5, or really only pick up 1, whatever you like. That's the idea behind that little box. Now, this inserter, of course, it is the filter inserter. Whitelist, blacklist. What that's saying, what I am going to pick up, what I am never going to pick up. So, then you pick what object that is. We've still got that stack size, but we're not going to worry too much about that. So I'll demonstrate this maybe in another video. Ah, uh, no, I can do it here. Let's try bringing some stuff past it and give it a box to drop into. So I'm going to say whitelist coal. And there's my coal. Grab a little bit of coal, drop some. Hey, look, it picks it up. It is a fast inserter, so anything you put is going to be fast. Now, notice I don't have Alt on. I was like, wait, why aren't I seeing that? You press Alt and you'll actually see what that filter is. It's not going to pick up anything except coal. Now, if I change that to blacklist, it is going to avoid coal like the plague or the coronavirus or whatever you want to call it. If we put anything else in, it will pick up that stuff, but leave coal alone. So while we can do filters with things like um, uh, the one-to-one -one switches, not switches, they're called splitters, um, you can also do filters with filter inserters. Not quite as perfect. You get two or three of them, though, and you're cleaning the line pretty well. Every so often, you'll drop the wrong thing in your main line, and it's important to clean it out. Sometimes these filter inserters are what you need or just picking a specific product off a belt um, is just what the doctor ordered. Again, whitelist, you can add a couple of things. The curious thing, as the game goes on, you'll get a stack filter inserter. It can only do one item, whitelist or blacklist, whereas the standard filter inserter can do one, two, three, four, five whitelist or blacklist on any given day. So that's those products. Let's move on. The inserter, we've pretty much covered the splitters advanced, left, right, input priority, output priority with a filter. Let's move on to boxes. This is a bigger topic. If you click on a box, you see all these little guys and the red one. Red one's useful. I don't want 10,000 gears to be made. If the factory that's dropping into this box is making gears, I just want one stack or maybe two stacks. So what I'm doing, I'm clicking on the limit and then clicking where I want that limit to be. Now, curious enough, you can drop things manually in those places, but a uh, dropping automatically will not happen unless there is space. So if I fill that up and fill that up, all of a sudden it's not going to put anything more even though it's supposed to. So that's the idea behind boxes. Pick up with the second video for um, a little bit more about factories and cargo wagons and what we can do once we click on those. Cargo wagons I'll also cover in trains later on. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoy the video. Let me know if you have comments, questions, or requests. Take care.